Hi guys, I'm Parwais and this is our 11th video in PyQtify 5 GUI development. In this lesson, we're going to learn about creating of spin box in PyQt5. So there are two types of spin box that uh, we can use. So the first one is Q spin box. It is a simple spin box and we have Q double spin box. So it's uh, uh, it takes a floating point value. Now, uh, in this video, we're going to create two examples. So the first one is using uh, coding. And in this, in the second example, we're going to use Qt Designer. So now let's get started. Uh, this is my simple code for creating of the window, and uh, I'm extending from Q dialog. These are my geometry title and window icon. So now first we need to add some imports. Uh, we need Q H box layout, uh, Q spin box, uh, Q label, also Q line edit. Uh, now in here uh, we are going to just create the create spin box so this is our method for creating of the spin box uh, the first thing we need we need to create a horizontal box layout because we want to align our widgets horizontally and after this we need to just create a Q label and in the label I'm going to just say laptop price Uh, after creating of the label, we need a line edit uh, for the price itself. So I'm going to just call it uh, line edit and we need to create the object of this. Uh, after that, we need to create our spin box. So it is for the number of the laptop that I want to choose. Uh, Q spin box. And now we need another line edit for the result of uh, the price. So I'm going to just call it total uh, result. It is a type of Q line edit. <coughs> uh, you can use it label, but uh, I have used line edit. There is no problem. Uh, after this, we need to add these widgets in our HBox layout. So uh, label HBox dot add widget self dot line edit and hbox dot add widget self dot spin box and the last one is uh, self dot total result and also you need to set the your main window layout so it's hbox layout uh, now we need to just run this uh, okay now we need to call over this uh, method and I'm going to just say solve dot create a uh, spin box and if I run this you should see uh, okay now you can see that this is our label line edit uh, this is our spin box and this is the result of the uh, price so now I want when I uh, write for example laptop price uh, 300 and if I uh, change the number I should uh, receive the total price in here for example for five laptop uh, it should be the total price so now uh, for this I'm going to just create uh, create another uh, method diff spin selected and first I'm going to check if my uh, uh, if my if self dot line edit dot text is not zero so now and the, the line edit is the place that I'm going to write the price of laptop so if it's not uh, zero uh, I'm going to just uh, say price and uh, I want to get uh, the price from my line edit so you can use dot text to get the price and also you need to convert this to int and now we're going to just create total price and 
this time we need to get uh, the value from the spin box so you can use dot value for getting the spin box and we want to multiply this with the price and after that we need to just uh, set this total price to the total result so uh, total result dot set text and we are going to just say total price and we need to convert this to string and uh, you can add in the else case for example we can just say uh, else uh, we can just print uh, wrong value okay now we have created this method now we need to connect this with the value changed signal of spin box so there is a signal for the spin box at name of value changed so we can just say self dot spin box dot value uh, changed dot connect and this is self dot uh, spin selected and now if I run this okay now you can see if I write for example the price 200 and now you can see for one laptop it's 200 for two it's 400 and like this 800 and 1000 uh, like this all right guys now we're going to create our uh, spin box uh, using QD designer so and the second example I'm using Q double spin box so this is my QD designer I have already opened uh, so in here I'm going to use uh, the lock without buttons and after that click on the create now in here the first thing I need I'm going to just add a horizontal layout uh, like this uh, let me just add it in here and in the, uh, in the horizontal layout we need to first add a label uh, like this and after uh, adding label we need to add uh, Q line edit uh, so it should be okay now this is line edit and okay now uh, after that we need to add a double spin box and the last one is also line edit okay now let me change this to for example sugar price and uh, uh, change the uh, let me change the first line edit to line edit price and this is a double spin box I'm not going to change this and also this one is uh, line edit total and also let me uh, make the layout vertically so sugar price so now you need to save this and I'm going to just save this and I want to call it uh, uh, double spin dot UI after saving you need to just copy this file and paste this file in your working directory so I'm going to just paste it in here uh, now this is my spin box uh, so you can see that I have already uh, th this time I'm not going to uh, uh, convert my UI file into Python file I want to directly uh, directly load the dot UI file uh, the first thing I need I have imported uh, these are my imports for creating of the window and I have imported UIC because uh, I'm going to use UIC module for loading of the UI file so we can just say UIC dot load UI and in here you need to just give the name of the UI file so it's double spin dot UI and just simple uh, we need to run this okay now you can see that uh, this is double spin box and we have our UI file in here now we need to find the child's in here so for example we have uh, uh, the 
the line edits and also the development box uh, finding child uh, finding okay now the first thing we need we can use find child for this so first I'm going to find the line price and if you see your UI file uh, let me just bring it in here so you can see for the first line edit it's line edit price now I need to find this you can just say self dot find uh, child and it is a type of Q line edit so we need to import this and this is the uh, the name now I need to add a Q line edit and also a Q double spin box so the second one is the double spin box so we can just say self dot double spin find child and its type of Q double spin box we need to just get the name uh, also the last one is uh, line result it's also a uh, Q line edit find child it is Q line edit and we need to just copy this line edit total <laughs> all right now we need to connect the uh, add functionality to this so for this I'm going to just copy the code uh, for the method of diff spin selected I want to copy this and paste it in here okay now the first one is line price let me change this and line price so it is a double spin box and here we are going to get the value from the double spin box and this is line result and the last thing you need you need to just connect this so self dot uh, double spin dot value changed dot connect and it is self dot spin selected now we are going to run this so if I write the price for example 3 and you can see for the one trees uh, like this 9 and if I change this for example uh, 350 you can see 330 and you can see so like this you can work uh, with QWS spin box and also spin box if you want the source code you can just check the video description and you can get the all source codes from my website geekscholars.com